Hello everyone, today and welcome to the third out of the fifth episode of the Class Guides in Dungeons. Now today what we're going to be doing is looking at the Mage class, since it was requested on that tank video. And also it is one of the classes, so I would like to cover it. Now, before this video starts, I just want to say make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description. We do epic things down there all the time, it's pretty, pretty cool. Now. There are certain requirements I want to just quickly go over for each floor. So floor 1 is Catacombs level 2, floor 2 Catacombs level 6, floor 3 Catacombs level 10, floor 4 Catacombs level 15, floor 5 Catacombs level 20, floor 6 Catacombs level 22, and floor 7 Catacombs level 28. Now this is because I don't want you to rush into the floor as soon as you get the, I don't know, Catacombs level 14. You go straight into floor 5 and you die instantly. Then you give up on the game because it's too difficult. You need to grind floor 4 and below so you can get that Catacombs level up a little bit before you actually start going into the floors. Because they can get pretty difficult as mage because you are very squishy. I know this from experience when I've been starting over on profiles and I go into dungeons and I am... Um, I've got all the gear. All the gear necessary, but I just die anyway because my catching level just too low. I give up and go back to my main profile. Let's go. Now for floor one, you could easily get carries for this. It's not even a big deal. Just try and join someone that's higher level. But if you don't want that, you can just get one completion and then buy yourself a bonzo staff with a full wise dragon armor set with an epic sheep. But I wouldn't upgrade the armor set too much because you're not going to keep it for very long you're going to keep it for floor one and two but after that you're going to sell it for a better set because it has multiple abilities that are very very useful the first one being mana saver reduces the mana cost of abilities by up to 20 percent at level 100 overheal which gives 10 percent of shield after not taking damage for 10 seconds and also the 20 percent ability damage from base now it's very very cheap the price of the epic sheep right now is 1.5 million coins now that is literally nothing it's so easy to get that money and for the boss fight it's super super simple you just have to go around and kill bonzo there's no strategy to this so have fun with that now for floor two all you want to do is basically keep everything the same but all you have to do is make sure you kill the boss in the right way, which is killing the... So he spawns these minions. You have to kill those minions in the right order. So you kill the priest first, because if you don't, it will just kind of kill... Well, it doesn't kill anyone, but it heals the rest of the minions that Scarf spawns. And then you kill the warrior, and then the archer, then the mage. The last two don't really matter what order you kill them, but just make sure they all die so you can move on to the second phase of the boss fight, which is killing Scarf. Now, Scarf is kind of tough because he has this ability where he shoots these Wither Skulls at you, and that is not good. All I would recommend for that is to just kind of move around. If you want, you can buy yourself an Aspect of the End. Now, this will help you just kind of teleport around. Um, if Scarf uses that ability that will do so much damage to you, you can just teleport away and it should be fine. Okay, so now we're on to floor number three. Now these floors are actually starting to get difficult for these catacombs levels, so we're gonna just change a few things to get some more damage, because at this point you should have enough mana to like, sustain yourself. So all you're gonna do is change your wise helmet to dark goggles for the 50% ability damage in dungeons. Now this is because they're super stupid cheap and they give an extra 50% damage when you use your bonzo staff. It's pretty good, I would definitely recommend it. And the weapon change, you're gonna just change your bonzo staff to a frozen scythe because it has less AoE, yeah, but it has more damage and you can spray it more. So, that's it for floor 3. Now, now the boss is very simple. You basically just have to kill all the guardians. Just make sure you kill the reinforced guardian first because it has more health. Now it's time for the most annoying floor in all of Skyblock. Floor number 4. 
Now, for this floor, all you want to do is upgrade your wise dragon armor to maybe some enchants, maybe you want to put wisdom 4, may maybe 5 if you're rich. You want to get some basic enchants, you want to get some stars on your armor, um, and you want to buy some shadow goggles when you hit Catacombs level 16, which is when you should enter this floor. You want to buy a spirit scepter as well after your first completion in the floor, and in the boss fight, all you have to do is kill the animals and then wait for the spirit bears to spawn then collect the spirit bow and then shoot thorn with it. You have to shoot him four times and then you've completed the floor. You also don't want to miss the shot because then you have to spawn another spirit bear. So in the run you're seeing right now, I had to, I missed twice. So I, I had to kill six spirit bears. And yes, I know I'm using a different weapon, but this is just so it's easier for me to show it. Um, since I have a better way to clear, I will use that instead. Moving on to floor number 5. There are no gear changes, all you have to do is do the boss correctly. So, you enter the portal, and you all you have to do is just wait until your screen goes black, go to the center of the boss room, and look up at the ceiling, there will be a color, and then you just kill the livid with that color. And it's literally that, so simple, easy as that. Now it's time for some floor 6 gaming, and what you need to change is your 3 fourths wise dragon armor for some necromancer lord armor, as this is the mage armor for floor 6. It's really good, it has a, an insane amount of intelligence for its price. It will be quite pricey at around 20 mil for the whole set, but that's still relatively easy to get once you sell your wise dragon armor and, you know, get all that. A, uh, a legendary sheep would also be worth investing in, um, since it gives it provides a ton of extra stats. Now, in boss, all you, all you need to do is stay in the glass. Now, in boss, all you need to do is stay on the glass in the center of the boss room, and then you kill the terracottas, then the golems, the giants, and then finally, Sedan. There's not much strategy in killing all of these. Just make sure they die, basically. And once that, you can collect your giant sword and move on to floor 7, the best floor in all of Skyblock. Now it's time for some floor 7 gaming. The best floor where you can drop your Necron's handle, maybe some scrolls, we'll see. So the gear that I would recommend before before you've, before even being a mage in floor seven, you need to have a Hyperion. I'm sorry for everyone who wants to play mage, but if you have a Spirit Scepter in floor seven, you are a burden to the team because you deal no damage, especially with those withers that have a billion health. That's just it's just not gonna happen. I'm sorry, but you need a Hyperion. And you need at least two fourth storm with max or boots and with the goggles. Um, that is just the bare minimum to get into floor seven parties. If you want to get fast runs, you can play spirit scepter and get I don't know thirteen minute runs or something. And most of the time, it's not even going to be S plus. So just keep that in mind. Um, I would also not recommend buying a Midas Midas star for a. Or a yeti sword because they get in the way of the archer's arrows and that can get very annoying for the archer now this is because you want to consider everybody in your party and not just yourself and i mean that's basically it i will make a floor 7 guide once i have enough time to and you can find it there i hope you, i know, i hope you found this guide useful if you did make sure to and like, I guess, yeah. Um, that's cool. See you next week.